Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Brooke, and today I am here with Emily. <laughs> and I'm back with another episode of the stories we probably shouldn't tell. This is like episode six, maybe. Emily doesn't know the rules, so I'm gonna have to explain them. We have all these memories in here, and we're gonna take turns drawing them. And if you see a memory that you don't mind telling the story to, then you explain it. But if it's something that you're like, mm, I'm not gonna tell the camera that, then you have to take a bite of something that I know you don't like. I didn't say that. <laughs> and if we both don't remember the memory, then you get to opt out. Like, since we both don't remember it. Lying to the friend group about Brooke's credentialing <laughs> score. I love that this is the first one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely remember this. I, yeah, this was our first year of credentialing. Some of my friends were like, trash talking kind of me, and they're like, Brooke's not prepared for credentialing. Which credentialing is like a college readiness test in a sense. And they're like, she hasn't even prepared for it. She's like doing all this last minute stuff. And Emily told me that. And I was like, oh my gosh. So she's like, dude, once you pass credentialing, like tell them that your score is way higher than it was. And I did. And I never told them that I did, <laughs> that it wasn't until just now. Like, but I did good on credentialing, just not as good as I said I did. Having Emily's dad's card not work at Myers, so we had to type it in at the customer service. Uh, yeah, I did. What were we finding? I don't know. It was something simple. Your dad's debit card is like whacked up. Yeah, it's like he's had it for a while, and it goes inside his wallet, and his wallet goes through a lot every day. <laughs> so it's a little worn down. <laughs> yeah. So we had to go to customer service and type in the pen after trying it for like 20 times. Everyone thinking Emily was drunk at Brooks for this is a bonfire. Oh, there's two of them on there. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. During my birthday bonfire, we all thought Emily was drunk. Like we even brought this up a little bit in Ashley's video. Every every day. But we, cause she was acting drunk. She was like, I got an idea. Uh, I got an idea. Like she was just totally. <laughs> and I, every time that we have like a hot seat game, I'm always like, Emily, be honest. Were you? Cause I, I don't know. I believe that you were, but you were out of it. Us finding a knife at the football field. That was during cross country. It was a toy knife. We were running. Toy knife? Toy knife. Oh, I thought you said. You I thought you said the toy knife. I'm like, you know the date of that? Back in 1952, <laughs> July 15th, we saw a knife at the football field. Yes. And we ran with it and gave it to Mr. Shutter. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. I forgot. <laughs> And every time I go to the drive-thru, it's always <laughs> Emily at Wendy's. I like to build a very good bond with the drive-thru person. Yeah, that is funny. She'll be like, they'll be like, hey, this is Sarah. Welcome to Wendy's. And she'll be like, hi, Sarah. How's your night going? <laughs> okay, I want to get this. Um, Emily thinking Brooke was plugging her ears to music when really she was feeling a bruise. I remember that was in the car. Because you were like, I was like feeling like a bruise right here. <laughs> You were like, are you plugging your ears to my music? <laughs> yeah, we're like trying to show around this and get music. <laughs> and saying, what are you doing? Okay, I'm like coming over to make sure I didn't die when I got rid of Ozzy. Aww. That was when I got rid of my cat. And Listen. Yeah, Emily's like, you want me to come over? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Remember the girl that was a stranger. Okay. Yeah, that is true. Not wanting to do blocks, so finding any excuse to get out of them, or going to the back of the line over and over again. <laughs> this is the price if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but <laughs> we used to do that all the time in track. Like, freaking blocks suck. We'd almost be to like the front of the line to do like jump these boxes. And we'd end up going to the end of the line because you had to do like repeats. Our inside track practice. <laughs> Going in and out of the doors, heading in things, and going backstage. We have some good indoor track practices. We make them fun, since they're not usually fun. Our random road trip to vent about friends. I know it was a specific one, yeah. but I don't remember too much. I just remember, I don't know. Went down the road, I let you drive a car. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> when we took Ashley's phone and made her post about loving herself on Instagram. <laughs> Posted on Ashley's account and it was like a selfie of her and saying like, I love myself so much. And it was up for like two minutes and she was so mad. Going behind the school for breaks while running. 
<laughs> yeah, enough said. Freaking Lucas is gonna see this and then send it to me and he's gonna be like, I knew it! Screw you, Lucas. <laughs> Laughing for four hours on FaceTime. FaceTime. <laughs> when we prank. When we prank. Pranked people with a fake profile. <laughs> We're literally catfishing. <laughs> what is this going up? Because I don't want it to go up anytime soon. I want to graduate. <laughs> Broke out. I made an account to get rid of this crazy guy. He was just texting me every day. And I wasn't interested. Um, I had been talking to someone for a while. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like, I'll talk to this guy. Be nice. Yeah. It was a big catfishing account. It was, but we were on FaceTime for four <laughs> hours. Like, it got to the point where we were laughing so hard that Emily had to sit next to her toilet because she thought she was going to throw up. Emily being obsessed with Damon. <laughs> yeah, I had a big crush on someone. <laughs> Your cycle is about to start. That one? I remember because I got a notification on my phone. Oh, it was your. Yes, it was mine. I remember this. Thing. Yeah, I got a notification. And I think I sent it to like a group chat, but like there was something else I was trying to like show them. It was like a message or something. And you like circled that. And you're like, I'm dying right now because I got a message saying my cycle was about to start. Like as a period. I remember because you screenshotted it and sent it to the group chat now. Making fun of Katie's parking jobs. Oh, I got a whole. <laughs> This is a good one. Katie, our friend Katie is like the worst, debatably the worst driver it's in the group. Album. It's called Katie's Shit Parking Job. <laughs> this is her best parking job, guys. Look at it. It's a picture of her parking spot because she didn't show up to school today. She's terrible at parking. Usually she's too close to Emily. Brooks check her underwear during track. Oh my god. When you're under when your pants are see-through. I remember I was wearing pink leggings that were see-through and I was I was on my period, I so I was that. not wearing good underwear. And we were running and Emily pointed it out to the whole distance group. She was like, oh my gosh, look at Brooke. Emily trying to convince Brooke to run distance every year. Yeah. It worked. It did, finally. Um, <laughs> junior year, I think, maybe sophomore yeah, it year. Was junior year. I worked, but I, for the longest time, I'm like, Emily, I cannot run distance. I'm a sprinter. Brooke's Christmas presents from Emily at Walmart. <laughs> I still have those like balls up in my car. <laughs> Emily got me like a megaphone. She got me a whole bunch of random stuff. <laughs> cat food. I know cat food was something. You're just like, I'm gonna go get you some presents. And then you came out with some random stuff. <laughs> when Brooke got bit by a mosquito, so she thought she had the EEE. -E -E, so we looked at the symptoms during class. <laughs> Turned out she had all the symptoms, but um, she's still alive today. So I just am. Kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I guess I remember this. The water bottle being thrown at us at the track meet. <laughs> because we were stupid and just recording random <laughs> shit on your iPad. Yeah, we were at a track meet. We, it was before we ran track. We were at a track meet recording random videos on my iPad. And a random person threw a water bottle at us. And like hit us in the face and got water everywhere. Oh. Alright, bye. Action. <laughs> Back at it. Spending every recess together. Yeah. Let me just say. Brooke and I were kind of losers. <laughs> you were about to say, like, we were the best of friends. Honestly, we, we were, kind of we were the best of friends. Like, up until fourth grade, I didn't make any other friends. It was just me and Emily. I think it was fifth grade because we didn't have class. To, like, yeah, class like, like fifth grade because I had Mrs. Smith and you had Mrs. Malumkin, and so we were forced to be separated. Yeah, it was awful. And we were totally okay with it. Like, you made me friends. I was like, dude, I was not. I remember telling my mom, I'm like, her and Abby are in the same class. And I'm like, and I'm over here, like, I gotta make new friends. So then I got more outgoing fifth grade. Yeah, we spent every recess together. We hung out almost like every day. Yeah. Like, we even outside of school. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I know that there was like a week I spent at your house at one point. There was probably more than yeah. two weeks. <laughs> she was my childhood best friend. Searching up Diego when he was <gasps> waiting for us, but well, waiting us and almost having him see. For, at first, I'm like, who is Diego? And I'm like, hmm. I know who Diego is. There's this guy we met after one of our track meets. Mm -hmm. 
he's a waiter at a restaurant. Diego, do you see this? Let me just give you my number right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> hit me up. Everyone around this area knows who Diego is, at least all the girls, because of how cute this kid is. <laughs> um, so he was waiting us, and Emily looked up his Facebook, and he came around the corner right when Emily did, and he almost saw that she was on his face. Diego, I'll be your Dora. <laughs> they were cousins, weren't they? Brooke dropping Emily's bunny down the stairs on the day of snowball. <laughs> what? <laughs> Day of snowball. You're like, my bunny's downstairs if you want to go hold it. And I'm like, heck yeah. So then I went and got it out of the cage. And he was being so sweet. Then as I was going up the stairs with it, I got on like the last step of going up and it scratched up my arm and jumped. I think that and then you guys all looked at me like I tried to kill it. And I'm like, dude, it just did that to me. Abby, <laughs> Abby Geist chasing us around the playground. <laughs> Oh my gosh, when I read that, I'm like, who's that? <laughs> you remember her? Bitch that chased us around everywhere, and she was like, running around like this, she was like... <laughs> but yeah, she, this was back in like 5th, 6th grade, maybe 4th, and man, that was so scary. She just chased us around. Emily and Julie fighting over Brooke and then becoming best friends. Yeah, that's basically it summed up. I used to be both of their best friends, and then they, got, they didn't like each other because I was like the middleman. And I was like, why don't you guys ever just try to talk it out? And I remember one recess, you guys spent the whole recess together to like talk it out. And by the end of it, you guys were best friends. You guys were closer than me and you yeah. guys. You and Julie were walking together. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go up there and like walk with them and like make Julie walk away. <laughs> she wasn't going to walk away. Like, Julie was shy. And her date with Josh. Yeah. Brooke almost went on a date with Josh. No, I did not. I was like, hold up. <laughs> Emily almost went on a date with Josh. Yeah. Or did you go on a date with Josh? I did not. Oh. Well, he came into Pizza Barn one night when we were all there. And he was like, hey, what am I going to take you out? I think it was out? more of like a joke. Yeah, maybe it was. Brooke crying when her mom was doing her hair. <laughs> that was when we were little. Every day. <laughs> Every time that Emily would come over and my mom would brush out my hair when I was younger, I would start Ugh. crying because my mom would yank my hair. And Emily, I remember one day when you were over, I was crying and then you walked in and I tried to like wipe the tears and you're like, Brooke, you don't have to be afraid to cry in front of me. Like you just I remember so that. With your glasses too. <laughs> Wait, what? Like you never told anybody that you wore glasses. Yes, I did. I remember yeah. your mom telling you because you were wearing a short play or something. I tell like, Good on <laughs> yeah, I was I, so insecure of my glasses back then. I like the white. <laughs> Bro, I'm actually like tan. Dude, she's tan. Like, legit. Don't judge me. I'm not white. <laughs> Emily telling the guy from McDonald's that she saw him on Tinder. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed. She's like, my friend has Tinder. Were you on Tinder? And she just straight up asked the guy who worked in the cash register at McDonald's. And he's like, I used to be, or did you say something like that? <laughs> like to clarify, I don't have Tinder. <laughs> you can't find me on Tinder, guys. When the lady pulled Emily out of class to give her a therapy session. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> that was so funny. No, I that wasn't. Was literally I felt so sad that day. I'm like, do people really think I'm depressed? Like, she pulled Emily out of class and she was just like, How's life going? Like she was just kind of like thinking like that Emily was depressed or something. And Emily's like, mmm, good? Hiding in Emily's car during practice and having Mr. Thompson's Yeah, we uh, we hid out at Emily's car during one of our practices. Yeah. <laughs> we were in like the middle of running, we hid out in her car for like a couple minutes, maybe like three minutes and talked. And then when we got back to practice, Mr. Stump, one of our coaches, he was like, where How was the run? Go? Yeah, where did you guys go today? How was the run today? We were terrible. Uh huh. Do you have a job, Emily to Miles, in the middle of him talking? I remember that, but I don't. I don't remember that either. I remember we were talking to Miles, like the three of us, and he was like explaining something in the middle of it. You're like, do you have a job? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, huh? Like, if I need to think of something like really important, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but like something that I feel like is important, like I really want to know. I'm gonna interrupt them and say, ask it. Emily getting hurt at Brooks roller skating party. Aww, we were little. I bruised my tailbone and I cried about like my ass for like <laughs> a week 
her too. <laughs> Brooke's dream about Emily and Tyler and her debating on whether or not to text them. So Brooke had this dream of um, a guy. I basically had a dream that they had a kid together. Yeah, no, don't say that. No, that was my dream. So I'm like, maybe that's a sign that's so I'll text him. And so I text him, we talked for a while. We don't really talk much anymore. But we're like, we're still good friends. Like, I'm okay with being friends. But like, I kind of got feeling I'm not going to end up because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, like that week, like that Brooke had that dream. Him and his girlfriend broke up. Brooke's first kiss. Um, <laughs> taking it back to fourth grade. Ah, uh, that was awkward. I like, this was like total peer pressure from me. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I remember I was dating this boy, dating, because it was fourth grade. And he was like, hey, you should go to the game on Friday and we can kiss. And I was like, oh, I've never kissed a boy before. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so I was like trying to play it cool and I'm like, yeah, I'll go, I'll be there. And so then we go back behind these bleachers. It's not the football bleachers, it's these other little ghetto ones. And there's like me, you, Dawson, Logan, and I think Elijah. Yep. And they were watching me and Elijah. Like, it wasn't even a kiss, it was like, They Mom. made out. No, it was, they went like Mom. this. <laughs> and that, that was basically my first kiss, and it was like, and Dawson even kind of pushed our heads together. She was like, no, you can kiss the bro, and pushed our heads together. Yeah, me and Dawson totally, like, peer pressured her to go behind the bleachers at the football game. Running distance together, it's kind of an overall concept one. Good times. But yeah, we ran distance together, and we still run it together. Um, I would basically escape from everyone else. Sleeping in a box. So one time Brooke and I got like homeless and we slept in a box overnight. But inside a house. <laughs> There's this giant box and we made it like a little fort and we slept in it. And it was one of our classic memories. When Brooke spit, uh, spilt water on her in art so she had to wear Emily's basketball shorts <laughs> for the rest of the day. That was like Georgia, she peed her pants. <laughs> Taking baths and getting together. When we got older, we put in our swimsuits. <laughs> we were weird. <laughs> I remember we did it because we used to just take baths together when we were really little. Like but we then we got older. We couldn't leave each other's side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, literally. Then we got older and we're like, eh, we're kind of too old to like, be naked in the tub together. And so then we just put on swimsuits and we'd still take baths together. It's kind of like looking at it like, um. <laughs> Emily and Kennedy making a card for me uh, after my accident. At least it's not chlamydia. I still have the up in my room. <laughs> that was so sweet. Emily being the first Finsta photo. Yep. You and Andrew Lemon. <laughs> I remember you texting me like, take this down. Can we turn the music off? Because I might get copyrighted. <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble with the law. You won't be the first time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yes, okay. I'm not saying this one. Okay. Oh, it's that one? Yep. Okay. I got exactly what I want to give you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> An onion. I knew that you didn't like me. I'm gonna throw up. I know, because I don't like that. Clickbait. Not really clickbait. Emily throws up and cries. <laughs> I'm like already getting sick to my stomach. Here you go. I ate that whole thing. Yep. like molded bread and freaking um, warm milk in the fridge. Ugh. And this is worse. <laughs> I'm looking for you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I burned. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Emily getting Brooke a snail for her birthday. So I spent like five hours in the woods looking for this <laughs> stupid snail. <laughs> Which I didn't even say I want a snail. But it was actually, like, it's like, yeah, it was funny. So I found one. I didn't think I was ever gonna find one. I thought I was gonna have to get her like a frog or something. So she was like, I'm gonna get you something. It's gonna be well, alive. Birkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I found this snail and I put it in this little cute like fish tank. And I put like the lid on it and everything. And this thing was gone. 
Like completely gone. Emily brake checking Brooke and making her fly into the front seat and Brooke's tripping in her car. I got the video. Save it too. Oh guys. my god. That was I was like I was in the back and I didn't have a seatbelt on in her car. And we were messing around and I was sitting like, I think I stood up a little bit and right when I did that, Emily slammed on her brakes and I flew into like the passenger seat where Abby was. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could have died, Emily. Like, she's like, I'm hot, guys. Oh yeah. It's like dark and I look behind me and she's stripping. And I started like, stripping because she, 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 she wouldn't turn the heat off, so I was like, okay. It was cold. Outside. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. <laughs> Running to every location during winter retreat. But it was like pretty much like Pokemon Go. We had to find mm -hmm. the Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> yep. And we ran to every single location. Now I remember Abby Kling was a uh, hurt, so Ashley would walk with her and then they'd get there like 10 minutes after us. Uh, <laughs> how can people stand on you? That's just nasty. <laughs> Dawson's bed. Oh my gosh, I honestly forgot about that one. <laughs> Dawson's bed. <laughs> if Dawson's watching this, he's gonna be like, what's up with my bed? We changed in his room. Mm -hmm. Because he had a pool party. <laughs> and this was sixth grade. We were messing around and while we were changing, I mean, we were so comfortable with each other that we were just like naked in front of each other. <laughs> okay, that's a little too far. <laughs> I mean, but we were just such good friends. Yeah, we sat on his bed. Um, both of us kicking some tail in badminton. We did like a whole segment on badminton in gym class and everyone sucked at it except for me and Emily. So we were the best at it. And we were kind of like hogging it, but it was fun. And we kept tipping over the hammock on purpose. <laughs> we were so stupid. We It was just kind of like the thrill. It was like, we were on a roller coaster ride for uh -huh. like 22 seconds. Well, yeah, because it it, we, uh, we were sitting on this hammock at our house and we were young again. This is like maybe fourth, fifth grade. And we were going back and forth and back and forth and we'd go so far that we'd tip the hammock over. And then we'd do it again and again and again. We probably did it like 20 times. Like it was, it was a lot of fun. I can't wait to get my puppy. Before Emily got her puppy, she said that like a million times a day. She's like, I just can't wait to get my puppy. She's so cute. Any dipping in her pool. <laughs> that was a good day. Emily used to have this like blow up pool, and we were messing around. It was a blow up. It was like a. Oh no! It was. Let's go skinny dipping in the pool like the while people are home. This is like the only time though we did that. Like I remember Caitlin's birthday party in the hot tub. That's not in the but surprisingly, but yeah. I don't know, we were pretty tough. I think we've been skinny dipping together like four times. Um, when we were doing it in your pool, we were young. We were like sixth, seventh grade, something like that. And I remember your parents were home and they came like your mom came up to us and she was like what kind of ice cream do you guys want from the store? And we had to find our clothes really quick. Oh my gosh. My pants were missing. I think that I didn't even have the yeah, pants on when she was talking to us. Sing stickers on her book to warm them up. I don't remember this. Oh, on her boobs. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, last track season. Emily, you were, you were the one to show me that. You're like, dude, do this. We made these heat warmers and she put them on her boobs. And I don't know like what was so cool about it, but it felt cool. And I don't know. Let's go talk on the hill. That's a little kid memory. We talked every day. We'd walk along this hill. At every recess. Day. Yep, and we'd go talk. Shit. Yep. <laughs> Our movie trailer. <laughs> Aww, that's a perfect one to end on. I'll put it in because I know I can find it. We made yeah, this yes. movie trailer. <laughs> it's cringy now. But she was over at my house for the day and we did that and we thought we were the coolest cats ever. I'm really impressed with us because we filmed in under an hour. So my breath smell like onions. It's actually my armpits. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it'll make you smile. The person who's next is drumroll. <laughs> hey, I play for <laughs> 